Welcome to Pro Suites 2012 here in Cologne, Germany. I'm Harold Nickel, and with me is Maureen Aikens, and we're doing our very first installment of a program we call Does This Have Gum in It? Now, the purpose of this program is to introduce and illustrate different types of uses for gums in everyday food items. And since this is the very first installment, we're going to start with the basics, chewing gum. So Maureen, looking at this package of... Uh, candy-coated chewing gum. Mm -hmm. Does it have gum in it? It sure does. So not only is this a great gum center, on the outside that hard candy shell actually contains a hydrocolloid or gum as we refer to them. Uh, and the purpose of that gum in this shell is to provide strength and to give it some flexibility during processing so that as you ship the product that it maintains this nice continuous shell um, so that your end consumer gets to see it in its whole form. Historically, uh, shells have been created using gum arabic. Um, it's a tree sap, it's thousands and thousands of years old. Um, the purpose is to increase the strength of that shell uh, so that when you actually bite into the piece, you get a very nice sensation, very excellent crunch texture. So let's talk a little bit about Tikapan. I know that we're here in Cologne, Germany at the Pro Suites 2012 yes. event, and it's the first time we've talked about Tikapan here in Europe. Mm -hmm. What distinguishes Tikapan from other traditional types of gum? Mm -hmm. Well, first and foremost, it's actually a cost savings. So not only can you get all of the same functionality, um, when we talk about functionality, we're referring to shell strength, uh, how fast it dries, um, the smoothness of the appearance. Uh, those are all going to be very similar to what you would typically get with gum arabic, but we found a way to actually make it less expensive, and we found a way to make, that your, uh, make your supply much more secure. There's two types of Tikapan that I've seen about. There's Tikapan 311, and then there's Quick Crunch. Mm -hmm. What distinguishes one from the other? Yes, that's, a, that's an excellent question. Tikapan 311 was originally formulated to be exactly the same as gum arabic. All of the same textural attributes, all the same functional attributes, uh, with the exception of a whiter shell. Now, Tikapan Quick Crunch was actually formulated to be a product improvement, something that will give you a much bigger crunch, uh, something that could potentially give you faster drying times, and then all of the other same benefits, whiter shell, security of supply that we found with the 311. Well, we hope you enjoyed this very first installment of Does This Have Gum in It? Next month, we're going to be talking about stabilization in salad dressings and find out the roles that gums play in those. Meanwhile, enjoy some more scenes of Cologne, Germany, and come back next month for Does This Have Gum in It?